Nice to see you again. I recently attended a YouTube event where they gave lots of helpful hints and tips, which is why if you've watched my channel for a while, you've probably seen I've got the new intro um, and new thumbnails, things like that. And one of the things they recommended was putting translated subtitles on the video to open it up to a wider audience. So I've been experimenting for a while now with how to do that quite quickly. To achieve this, I've been using the Google Translate Toolkit and also TubeBuddy. And I thought I'd do a quick video just to explain how I've been doing it. If you've got any tips on translation, uh, drop those in the comments below, I'd love to see them. So to demonstrate this, I'm using my recent review video of the Alcatel A3. You come to your edit screen and if you go to the subtitles section first. Now this is the part that takes the longest. You'll see that YouTube handily automatically publishes subtitles based on your language. So it's actually uh, listens to the video. What we're going to do is go ahead and edit the machine generated subtitles as they'll probably be a little bit wrong. And this will give us our subtitle file that we're then going to translate into different languages. So it's a lengthy process, but once you've got all your subtitles in place, make sure to publish the edits. You've now got two. I seem to have three for some reason, looks like one that crashed. So I've got an English and English automatic. So if we go back into the English, this is the one I've just edited. And you can now say actions, download SRT. That's the file you want to get. Head into the English automatic. You can actually unpublish those and delete them. You're not going to be needing those because you now have the corrected version. But the next thing you're going to want to do is go to the Google Translate Toolkit. So if you just Google it and head over there, just click on and this is it it's very simple to use simply click upload you want to add content you want to upload a file choose a file you can then rename it so i'm just going to call this the a3 review and then what language do you want to translate it to so let's just tick these so it's now going to upload the file you can then if you want pay $415.52 to actually have these correctly translated by a person. I'm going to say no thanks. And here we go. So you're now going to end up with a load of different files. So let's take the Spanish file. When you click on it, it's then been machine translated. Now, I don't speak any other language, so I'm just going to have to go on faith that this has been translated correctly. If you do speak any other languages and you'd like to uh, and check out if these subtitles are correct. I would appreciate that. Feel free. I've got the community uh, revisions on my videos if you want to do any translation. So I'm just going to rename this just so I know that this is the Spanish one because normally I would then do this repeatedly for all the different languages and I'd download them all at the same time. But just for speed, I'll just do one. So that's downloaded. So head back over. We're going to add new subtitles, search for the language. That will then drop you into this menu where you can upload a file. So you're now going to upload the file we've just downloaded. So choose file, Spanish, upload. And this should hopefully then drop them all in in the right place as we had it before, but in Spanish now instead of English, just hit publish. That's it done. So you've now got English and Spanish. So I would then repeat that for another four or five different languages. Then head over to info and settings because down the bottom here, you've got another translation section. And at the moment, I've just got it in English. Now, if you are using TubeBuddy, depending on the TubeBuddy you've got, whether you've got the free or one of the paid ones, you may or may not see some of this stuff. So TubeBuddy is great. If you've got any questions about it, I will be doing a follow-up review. So please leave those in the comments below. But this is one particular section that's really cool where you can see the top 10 languages spoken by the audience. So there's Spanish. Uh, so at the moment, this is just in English. So we're going to say select add new language and then again, Spanish. Now, if you don't have TubeBuddy at this point, you'd have to copy the title and description, paste those into Google uh, Translate and then copy them back. But brilliantly with TubeBuddy, I can simply hit this button. So that's now converted this over and I would then repeat that repeat again for German and so on so that the translated info on this section uh, I've got all the same languages as I have subtitles hit save and now the 
title and description and also the subtitles are displayed in Spanish. So I've only just started doing the translation. I've not yet seen if it will have a positive impact and if we'll see if the subscriber count goes up or see if the views go up. But uh, for the short time it takes now, once I've got the system in place to do the translation, it's quite a quick process. I want to give it a go and let's see if that helps the channel grow a bit more. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, why not treat yourself and click the subscribe button above. And if you want to see some more clear and concise reviews, why not check out this video next? Thanks for watching.